viewer, welcome back. This is Spotlight, and we are talking to Justice Juma, who is a presidential aspirant come 2022, and also the party leader of Justice and Freedom Party. Now, uh, when we before we went for the break, we were talking about the need for the Kenyans to be re-educated, mm -hmm. so their minds are not in the place of tribe or in the place of just prominence, you know, but they can consider other important factors when it comes to who they vote in as their leaders, yes. right? Now, I want to ask you again, who is doing this work? Yes, there is civil, there is civic education that comes from the IBC and all that, but there's this dimension also of, of um, the, 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 the people voting differently yes. from a different angle. Mm -hmm. I mean, who is doing that work? Well, uh, especially where the church is concerned, the church leaders have the primary obligation. Mm -hmm. Pastors, you have the mandate to enlighten your people. Uh, most of, even the 10% that they're giving you, the government now is taking over 60% of their salary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, if you add the 30% that they, uh, they added for, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, your, your uh, uh, tax on income, uh, plus now the other vertebrates. Mm -hmm. It's almost over sixty percent of this guy's salary goes to the government. Mm -hmm. So by the time you're getting your ten percent, I tell you, it's terrible. But <coughs> the persons who have the know-how and the influence on their flock are the pastors. Mm -hmm. So pastors must stand up to the occasion, and it is not a miracle. In you know, the story of David and Goliath has not been well told. Mm -hmm. David and Goliath, uh, Goliath uh, was a, 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 Philist, a Philistine who had advanced, the, uh, the Philistines had advanced to occupy Israel. And they drew a battle line at the valley of Ella. And at the valley of Ella, when Saul and his team knew that the Philistines were advancing to attack, they all moved and met. And when they, where they were meeting, there was a valley in between them. And fighting against the valley was suicidal. So no one wanted to advance. Mm -hmm. And uh, neither were the Israelites willing to, because when you're fighting from up, uh, I mean bottom up, uh, uh, of course, I, I, don't, I don't mean that <laughs> other from bottom up. up. <laughs> you become yeah. more vulnerable uh -huh. and suicidal. Mm -hmm. So they had to draw a, a battle rules. And they said, bring me one person, and I will also bring one. And the Philistines brought, you know, the Philistines were battle, te battle tested. Mm -hmm. For a period they've been fighting. So they brought their own. And then the Israel also went to searching, looking for equivalent to match that. And they didn't find in mm -hmm. Israel mm -hmm. for 40 days. And this uh, Philistine kept abusing and abusing for 40 days. And there was no one from Israel until one person who actually, that was not their war. He actually was taking food to his, his brothers. Mm -hmm. he, he was not even trained to go and fight. It was not his business. Mm -hmm. But when he realized that his nation which was given to them by their almighty creator, whom he had been told to be patriotic to, is being abused in the daylight. He said, no, I will take him. Hmm. And this is the secret, my dear pastors and my dear brothers. What David did was not a miracle. David changed the tactic of war. Hmm. And this is where we all caught up in. They drew the battle line, they drew the rules, and then we are all... No, one to think within the rules that they have set. We don't have to play by their rules. Mm -hmm. If they are playing because of money, uh, fair enough. That is their strength, and that is not our strength. We are not going to go by that. If they are going through tribal arithmetic, okay, well and good. That is their style. But we also have our own better style and our better strategy, which is not their strategy. David, by then the war could be fought by the combatants or, or the artilleries or the slingers. And then the slingers, if you look at even the Roman history, slingers were so dangerous and they were lethal. Romans even had thongs that could remove stones embedded in the soldiers by the slingers. Mm -hmm. Slingers were dangerous. If you look at the speed at which even the David's stone uh, was moving at to hit Goliath, you would equate it to handgun to date. So why must we be all be limited to this archaic mm -hmm. combat method 
Okay. So it doesn't have to be the same old, same old. Mm -hmm. We can all take responsibility as saints. Mm -hmm. Wherever you are, you are able to teach. And we are championing a course which is issue driven. Okay. Where value system matters. Actually, it is the better option. Where there is honesty. Where there is trust. Where there is your interest. A leader you can uh, put to account. Mm -hmm. These gods who actually fly on top of us and then we need, when they need our votes, they are full of over coming to your churches and corrupting your churches because you refuse to take uh, collective responsibility mm -hmm. to educate your people. Mm -hmm. They don't need to be bought. You don't need their charity. Mm -hmm. We can advance ourselves with the resources we have better than the, the, the little handles we're giving. Hand to mouth has never worked anywhere. But we can invest in instruments. I, 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 I loved the other day, I think he can co confirm, bring, bring Ivuta Kibwana on show mm -hmm. one of these days. Mm -hmm. And then when we're interacting with him, some uh, discussions we're having to have one, one candidate, and then he mentioned that he's the best model that he borrowed from one of his friends, mm -hmm. and which is implemented in Makweni, is a, 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 theological, a, a, I mean a, a theological model. Mm -hmm. And the theological model, uh, 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 there's economic model called theological model. And you have it in your Bible. <laughs> you know, let, let's stay with that. Uh, the <laughs> theological model, I think that would be interesting. It would be good to engage yes. the details of that. Right. But it, it actually lifts up the significance of the church uh, when it comes to establishing the leadership of this country, mm -hmm. specifically now going into 2022. Right. Now, before we go to the church, mm -hmm. let's, let's talk with you as a Christian. Right. How is your Christian faith mm -hmm. playing out in your ambition? Well, uh, they say a wise person is strong. Mm -hmm. And a, wise, a man of knowledge increases in strength. But they say the wicked are weakened internally. Mm -hmm. I think that is why David, I mean, Goliath might have been so huge, but mm -hmm. internally <laughs> he was so wicked. He was mm -hmm. a dog, mm -hmm. minute. David might have been this size, but internally he was a giant mm -hmm. because of knowledge and wisdom. Uh, there's a book in Isaiah 33, 6. It says, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times and your strength to deliverance. Mm -hmm. And we are at a time when we need deliverance from the hands of the invaders. These guys are coming to our houses with all manner of immorality. Uh, they've, they've stolen and they're not satisfied with that. They are perverting even our children and stealing, under, uh, stealing them from under our, our feet. In schools, they're not educating them with the values that we believe in. Mm -hmm. And they are bringing concepts that are bringing laziness, they're turning them into robots in our watch. We cannot sit back and watch. We must come out and deliver. Mm -hmm. I think it is in Jeremiah where he says, blessed are those, uh, it should be Nesaya, who turns the battle at the gate. We can't wait for these guys to invade us in the house. Mm -hmm. So we must come out collectively and team up and turn the battle at the gates. Mm -hmm. So yes, my Christian faith inspires me and gives me the strength. And this is why I see what they call horses. I look at them as wolf and the fox. Mm -hmm. And I know just one strike and they will be slain if we collectively come out mm -hmm. and own this cause together. Okay. That's, but that, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if we leave it together, we leave it and then actually watch and spectate and uh, allow their terms and their rules of battle engagements mm -hmm. to carry the day, then yes, we will be sitting down and hiding like Gideon mm -hmm. was hiding in the threshold. And I tell you, you may be embarrassed that our women will not be hiding with us. <laughs> They'll mm -hmm. be out fighting. Mm -hmm. And I am coming out and we are asking fellow brothers, let's come out together so that they don't fight. Mm -hmm. they, we can defend and protect them. It is time for freedom and we can set them free. You know, and and, and uh, justice, you are calling for the church to take a frontline position. Right. Now, how does the church do that? Actually, the missing ingredient that can make the church more effective. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what has made the church weaker mm -hmm. <laughs> is failure to participate on the issues of governance. Mm -hmm. You have no control of resources. The church, let his will be done in heavens as it's also done on earth. Mm -hmm. Why can 
indeed <laughs> be here. And, and just and it's we, yeah, we, we took, maybe you can hint to us what you have in your mind. Right. Because your church leaders, Christians are watching this. Exactly. What do you have in mind as strategy? Right. Like strategy in terms of the church and its influence in 2022. Even if it's not a strategy, at least some portion of strategy that a pastor can go and immediately begin to, to implement. Well, it's, it's very simple. Mm -hmm. uh, right, right now, votes are won during voter registration. Mm -hmm. uh, register your people, sensitize them to go and vote. That one, please. We only have uh, the next one week. Mm -hmm. and, and actually, right now, IABC is facing serious uh, voter registration apathy than never before. I sat with them and I was like, this is not possible. Mm. You promised us 1.5 million per, per week. You are registering 200,000. You promised us 6 million in a month. You won't make it, you, you are even below a million. And that apathy is because of the good people who are staying off mm. because they are tired of the fox and the wolf. And they are the tool uh, and the weapons that we need. As I gave and explained earlier, there's only a time in, a time, in, a time in, in, in Israel, it was only Jonathan and, mm. and, 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 and Saul who, who, who had the weapons. And the Israel won, but it was difficult. It was not as easy. They had to come up with ways. But we know that uh, voting is a weapon. Mm -hmm. Let's all arm ourselves. And pastors, you can sensitize your people to vote and, and register for vote. Open up their spaces, and their open compounds up for, exactly for, for registration. Exactly, mm -hmm. if possible. Yes, mm -hmm. bring in. Because let me tell you, those uh, uh, IBCs are putting only three, three voter registration kits per ward. Mm -hmm. So if you can open your churches and make them a centers, especially during worship centers, so that we have this Sunday and the next one, people registering in mass, mm -hmm. we would have beaten this state. Mm -hmm. It's very possible. And then inspire your people, allow them, release mm -hmm. them to go and vie for political offices. Mm -hmm. If they fear joining those dirty parties where people fight and all manner of dirty things happening, I invite them to Justice and Freedom Party, connect with us. We are here based in Nairobi, here in uh, 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 I mean, uh, Opposite Yaya, Equity Bank, First Floor. If you come there, we will give you a ticket directly. Uh, let's engage in this process. We can't afford to mm -hmm. leave these guys to carry the day. You know, what, what I hear you say is that there is a lot of necessity for a sharp collective strategy. Exactly. Now, you have invited people to the Justice and Freedom Party quite a bit since we began this conversation. Right. What's the philosophy of your party in a nutshell? What's the heart of your party? Well, justice... We borrow it from a Hebrew, uh, Hebrew word, mm -hmm. Sadiq, writing rights and wrongs mm -hmm. and to satisfy objectives. We exonerate. Where it is bad, we say this is bad. Where it is right, we say this is right. Mm -hmm. And the sovereignty and the power belongs to you. You make the choice. And as it stands, yes, we've uh, exposed various issues mm -hmm. on our education system. We've exposed various issues on our economic system. Mm -hmm. We've exposed various issues on our governance. We've exposed various issues on our health. We've exposed various issues on the media. And by the way, we are exposing also issues on spirituality. Why there is this separation of church and state, it is not scriptural. Mm -hmm. Because state uh, uh, is, is you, an individual. And, and if you, the individual, who is the spiritual, <laughs> mm -hmm. how can you be dissected and separate parts of you in various segments? If it is you, it is you in its entirety. And you cannot subjugate your resources to an entity that is secular, that is anti your faith, that is parallel completely to you, and, and then you are left to beg them because resources or wealth is power. If it is in the wrong hands, and then we, they will oppress, oppress you. Mm -hmm. And this is why you find our little girls are looking up to these bad guys. And not because of any other things, because of the wealth. And, and our little boys are adopting to various uh, norms and this is why, a, ch a pastor, you are there with your children and they can't obey you. Mm -hmm. They are rebelling, they are pursuing these other ways because you left the, uh, what, what was actually very important to, to, into the wrong hands. Mm -hmm. We must bring back wealth and resources back to the church. Okay. Right. Very passionate. And uh, you know, as you speak, uh, Justice, a very imp important thing that is critical mm -hmm. for us mm -hmm. here is um, hearing from you right should you be the fifth president of the republic of kenya what would you accomplish 
in the first 100 days? I would, I would use the word when I become. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, we, we have plenty in store, uh, a lot of cleaning, and uh, a lot of uh, setting up structures, and uh, we are working on uh, having effective transition, which uh, will address the, uh, the norms and the misnomers uh, that exist. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we have a very uh, key strategy on education system. We will make sure we implement holistic, holistic education curriculum that is affordable. And education is a way through which the society inducts the young on the society. We will make it a lot holistic in that it defines us mm -hmm. and separate these other cultures that have given priority within our geographical location, then bring us out, bring out innovation, bring out manufacturing, and bring out critical thinking mm -hmm. uh, and proper character development. So that is why we must work very closely with the church. Uh, because you are endowed, you are the custodians uh, of value systems. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we are having an economic model. We are going to launch it very soon. Uh, I know uh, you don't like that word. We are going to launch it very soon. <laughs> because uh, I tell you a lot, if you hear people speak out, uh, out there, those who have not heard us, you will hear them speaking a lot, regurgitating what we've been seeing this, this long. I know what Jubilee stood for when they came as TN and URP. It is not what they're talking about today. I know what uh, uh, or ODM, uh, Orange Movement has been, a constitutional movement. <laughs> and they will always change con constitution. And I think that would be their first <laughs> 100 days <laughs> goal. Mm -hmm. And, and we, uh, uh, telling them, yes, however they fought and brought the country where it has been, this country can be better. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a dynamic uh, of change, that uh, economic dynamics that this country needs, which require our minds. Mm -hmm. And this policy needs to really be inverted because 80% uh, uh, of our uh, populace are agrarian uh, uh, pastoralists. Currently, our economic model is 80, 75 percent uh, 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 science and technology based. Uh, science and technology consumers are about 25 percent city, city, city dwellers. These city, city dwellers <coughs> cannot override about 75 percent majority populace. Mm -hmm. So I cannot have a population, uh, I mean, a policy that is focusing on just 25 percent, yet the define, definition of our society as being a agrarian pastoralist, I overlook that and turn this into a consumer-based mm -hmm. economy. So we're going to clean this in the first 100, uh, uh, first 100 days. We um, will make sure that our economic policies refocuses into the, uh, uh, the actual definition of who we are. Uh, we must uh, invest bus back into uh, uh, I mean, uh, production and we must produce our own food. Uh, and then also have markets where we're going to sell this food and then uh, create not only a uh, market but value addition that can also make these uh, 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 goods, uh, I mean, actually uh, reach the external mm -hmm. markets. So we, we have uh, elaborate plans when we're going to launch in our manifesto, which will be, in uh, which, 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 which will be around uh, education, uh, governance, economic, and, and, and health, mm -hmm. because health also is very robust. We saw how uh, Jubilee actually has mismanaged every pandemic Every crisis is an opportunity to make history. You can make good history or you can make bad history. Mm -hmm. And then we kept engaging. During this po point, we were not in government, but we were out with the citizen. In, in Kiambio, I was even joined by the uh, various ambassadors, thanks to Israeli ambassador and, and the other envoys who joined together with us. And we were with the citizen telling the government to adopt proper health strategy mm -hmm. to combat this menace. You know, uh, as you speak about uh, what you are going to do, you know, there is the sad matter mm -hmm. of over-promising the citizens, mm -hmm. exaggerating mm -hmm. the possible performance. Right. Whereas you as a candidate know that for sure that's not going to happen. Isn't that cheapening the minds of Kenyans? What I cherish more is honesty and trust. Mm. When I talk about education, I'm talking about what I've already done. I have daughters who I'm, I'm teaching at home. 
I'm doing what is called home education. Mm -hmm. Because I've tested both of the curriculums as I interact with them. Yes, they're good, but there is a better one. So I'm not going to talk about something that I have not mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. tested and seen that it works. Okay. When I talk about economic model, I'm also a, ch a, ch a chairperson of uh, a SACO. And I know the power of cooperatives. Go to Israel, the kibbutz, eh? the Mossads, mm -hmm. they're all cooperatives. Even these big banks that are turned now into uh, uh, J I mean, uh, uh, gigantic, uh, 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 let me not use a negative word, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because they're not working for people now, but they began as cooperatives. Look at equity. It began as cooperatives. That tells you the power lies there with the people. Mm -hmm. And when you empower the people, and this is what these guys do not understand. When they heard us talking about now what they are terming at bottom up, mm. <laughs> uh, whereas the economic policy is still <laughs> focusing on the 25% <laughs> science and technology, which we are but, but consumers. Mm -hmm. They've not enabled people to be innovators so that we also have, uh, you know, we manufacture. Uh, knowing Kenyans, our Kenyans have been innovative. You know, Mpesa began here. When instead of enabling our Kenyans mm -hmm. to create, we keep on, you know, just selling and selling, letting go of everything we have. And then receiving it back at a very uh, uh, high cost. Mm -hmm. We can't afford to do this anymore. All right, and all right. we yeah. must get back there and retap it. Mm -hmm. So when I talk about education, when I'm talking about talent development, uh, this education should be individualized. Okay. Not everybody mm -hmm. should be, uh, uh, I mean, photocopied as a mass photocopier. Mm -hmm. uh, the individuals who have talents in, 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 in arts, if talent sells, mm -hmm. why not make? You know, of course, education is a very, as, as we speak right now, it's a big subject. Exactly. Uh, and uh, lots of different views. Exactly. Um, let's go back to church mm -hmm. and your Christian values. Right. One of the envision, you know, things that Christians envision, a section of Christians, mm -hmm. and one of the things they hail and look forward to is the possibility of a Christian nation. Right. You know, where you have, where they understand the Christian nation as having Christian leaders, mm -hmm. as having, as running on Christian values, yes. uh, as uh, having almost an evangelistic nation. Right. Now, that is in a way problematic. Mm -hmm. How do you see that? How well, do you engage that? Zambia just elected evangelists. Mm -hmm. eh? what, what makes them different? Mm. What makes them different will be where they are economically. The things that made, make people refer to work in Singapore, things that people refer to, make people refer to work in China. Mm -hmm. China, when they closed themselves, they just went back to their spiritual values and reclosed themselves and redefined themselves and sent them, the, their people to work and start utilizing what they have. Mm -hmm. Today they are competitive. A uh, uh, German Reformation, 1520, Martin Luther, uh, a church monk who also actually was destined to be a king mm -hmm. and then went to serve and he realized through the Bible he changed the world. The foundation of Protestant movement. Talk of the John Calvins. These are all individuals who were from the church. The Puritans, the founders of the United States of America, which is now being wash, wash, uh, uh, watered down and being taken over by these other orders <laughs> and being turned into you know, other things. It was founded by the t Puritans who were devout uh, Christians. So yes, uh, Reformation, even if you go way back to Abraham, there were change bringers who saw that things were not working. And they chose a way of life and they defined it clearly mm -hmm. and they brought it out and behold to date they became nations mm -hmm. yeah, so uh, as christians that's not something that um, should be apologetic of because it has values and then i'm talking about uh, christianity i think we need to seize our uh, 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 and separate it from the uh, religious connotation that the white man has brought to divide and conquer where you separate Christian against the, the Muslim, where you separate this religion against the other religion. All of us have uh, cross-cutting value systems, such that when you look at the Quran, the standard of the value systems, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and you compare to the standard of a Christi uh, I mean, Christian value system, those are the things we are desiring uh, for us to have a robust economic growth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then defeat corruption that has been come, become an endemic process. Mm -hmm. So if you do not bring out these values, uh, who will? You can only uh, reap what you sow. Okay. So we are telling our fellow brothers that yes, 
if you want uh, maize, then you must uh, mm -hmm. sow maize. Mm -hmm. If you want beans, then you must sow beans. If you want a wolf, you sow a wolf. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and behold, lo and behold, we have wolves and foxes, mm -hmm. and they are out there and they are ravaging, and they are scaring us, you know, <laughs> uh, with all manner of uh, manipulations, mm -hmm. and uh, they're conniving in various ways. You know, mm -hmm. I, I, it's very clear that you have a very optimistic view about uh, Christian ideologies and their value in what we can call secular leadership. Right. Now, um, I want you again uh, to address the issue of v uh, registration, the, the apathy that uh, IBC is dealing with right now, and people are not coming out to, to get the ballot. Right? Uh, and I want you to speak to the viewers uh, so that they can be able to be evangelists mm -hmm. of this <laughs> take the ballot, I agree uh, with take the ballot um, uh, call, and you mm -hmm. can use uh, that camera right there. As, as I've said again, there is a time in Israel where it was only Saul and Jonathan alone with arms. And weapon of war or arms are very important if you're fighting. We are in a fight of our own life. We need to save this economy from being ravaged by inept leaders who are very incompetent, who are very corrupt, who are very greedy, have no value or conscience because if they had by now there are certain things or certain limits they would not have pressed. And we can't do that unless we vote. And your vote is your ticket. If we fail to vote, we, they say complacently is being in agreement. We will be agreeing to their continued looting, to their continued oppression, to their continued politicking, people who do not have your interests at heart. People will always fleece you. People will always sacrifice you. Uh, bishops and pastors, I urge you to urge your citizens. Urge your followers. In this remaining period of time, uh, it is only this week and the next week. Mm -hmm. uh, according to IABC economic calendar. Uh, urge your people to vote. Meanwhile, Brother Furi, we will mm -hmm. also turn to IABC. We will also lobby and engage on your behalf. Mm -hmm. Should they accept that they can extend the registration period, then we can all uh, actually still mm -hmm. uh, follow up with those who have not registered. Okay. But it is each and everyone's mandate. Mm -hmm. Ask your neighbor, ask your children, have they, revo have mm -hmm. they registered? Mm -hmm. Even my own children, they have passports and they're asking me, can we register with <laughs> our passports? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. and, and then it's me to let them and take them to registration center, mm -hmm. though they are below 18. Mm -hmm. So I tell them, you wait until you get 18 yeah. so that you'll be able to be accountable. All right. Um, uh, Justice Juma, thank you very much for being on Spotlight and all the best in your ambition. Thank you. I will be following your story and hopefully uh, you'll be back right here to update us on the progress. Thank you and, so much. And uh, God bless you and may your passion for uh, a, a country that delivers abundant life to the people, may that vision uh, mm -hmm. see the light of day. Yeah, Again, thank you so much. Thank Our you viewer, so much. this has been Spotlight. We've been talking to Justice Juma, who is an aspirant uh, to run for president in 2022. Lots of things. And then he asks, actually, urges you and me to participate. And one of the ways of participating is if you do not have a vote, please get it. And ask people around you, do they have the vote? Mm -hmm. And let us get the vote because that is the tool that ushers in a new leadership uh, in this country. Right. Again, this has been Spotlight. Thank you for watching.